Live, late breaking, investigative. This is more in the morning on KCTV 5. Well, during these cold winter days, it's always good to taste a hearty meal, and we're going to make one today. We're going to make some green chili stew. And joining me this morning, we have Bill Peterson, the owner of Old Westport Spice and Trading right. Company. Thank you so much for joining us, Bill. My pleasure. A, a, a stew, and it's really good, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's just uh, similar to a beef stew, only we use... Uh, uh, corn and carrots and potatoes and yeah. Let's talk about these ingredients. Okay. What do you need to make this stew? Okay, we start with oil. Mm -hmm. And and we heat the oil in the pan. Okay. And it looks like you've got all the ingredients. Why don't we go through these real quick? Yeah. What do you this need? This is the flour that we we put into the pork okay. and toss it. And if you want to do that, that's fine. Sure, I'll do that while you talk about the rest okay. of the ingredients. And then and then what we have is the uh, uh, onion. We have the cream of chicken soup. We have corn, carrots, potatoes. And the final ingredient is the green chilies. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be green chilies stew without green chilies, right? Exactly. <laughs> Am I doing this right? You just oh, stick you your look, hands you in? You look like a professional there. And look, you've already diced the pork, all right? Yes, sir. And so and you just stick a, some flour in and mix it up? It's just a good pork loin roast, and I, I sliced it and cut it into a half inch cubes. Okay. The recipe says one inch cube, but sometimes it's hard to handle. Okay, <laughs> just go ahead. Just Put it in there? Yes, sir. This is a heated. Whoa! Going. Sorry, that's well, okay. you know, that's what that's what you get for making help me uh, help you. That's cook. all right. We can handle it. We can handle it. Anyway, what we're gonna do is just saute the pork until it's nice and brown. How long will that take? Oh, this usually takes about five minutes. Okay, Bill. What do we do now? Well, the next thing is to add the onions. Okay, we so we chopped up the onions. Some onions earlier. Chopped up onions. Gonna Give put them in nice there. Nice stir. Okay. Maybe you should stir while I put the ingredients okay. in. Okay. Okay. What next? Okay. The next thing will be the corn. Or carrots, okay. corn, carrots and corn, do. whatever. Yep. Okay. This is a very colorful stew. Oh yeah. Very bright. And then we'd have the chick cream of chicken soup. Cream of chicken soup. Okay. Put that in as well. And Matt, mm -hmm. the next thing is the chicken broth. The chicken broth. That's in this that's this right here. This right here? Yep. Is it the whole? So just dump it all in, yes. Dump sir. all of it in, okay. Yes, sir. Then the next ingredient. Okay. If you want to pour that in, this is the seasoning mix that that we use. Okay. Where where would someone find this? Oh, we sell it down at uh, Pride's uh, kitchen shop down in the old Westport area. Uh -huh. And Kansas Sampler, which they have several locations around town. Obviously, and you have a lot of different flavored spices, but the Three Rivers Chili Verde is probably what you want since yes. we're talking about a green chili stew. Right. And then we have Cockerels down in south of Lee Summit on Highway 50 also sells our product. And the next ingredient to add is the potatoes. Potatoes. We've got some diced potatoes there. Put those in there. Get them all in there. Yeah, this is a really hearty stew. Oh. A lot of good vegetables in there. Yeah, and then the the another key ingredient is the uh, green chilies. The green chilies. And that's, you can buy them in the grocery store in a four ounce can, it takes four cans, and each can equals a half a cup. So we have two cups of diced green chilies in there. All right, so I'll go ahead. And here's the finished product. Wow, that looks really good. It smells great too. Let's oh. give it a taste. That is our official taster. Mmm. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Mm-hmm. Spices are great. You can really taste those green chilies in there. So, Bill, thank you so much. So, well, a great recipe here for the winter. Of course, we will have this recipe for green chili stew on our website. Just go to kctv5.com. Oh, tasted Yum. so good. Loved that it. And looked really good. And actually, Bill said you could do the green chili yourself. You just take it and roast it over like an open flame, put it in a paper bag, and then the skin just kind of melts mm. off and you just cut it up and put it in. And so. you're done. Yeah, fascinating. That so. sounds really good. Winter or spring, regardless. Yeah, and, <laughs> and obviously.